Hey everyone, this is Shreyas and welcome back to another video. So Android 12 stable version is out. I think it will be counted as a feature drop because not a lot has changed. And also if I go into my about section over here and Android version, it still says Android 12. But we have got the Android security patch update for March. Not just that, we also have a lot of Android 12 L features if you have been following my beta roundup of Android 12 L. But over here on the contrary on my Pixel 6 Pro, you can see that there is no update right here and Google has not mentioned why this update has not been pushed to Pixel 6 Pro but I'm guessing that since the hardware is very different and they must have some optimization problems and that's why my Pixel 6 Pro is on the Feb security patch still. One thing that is good over here in this case is now that Android 12 L is out on my Pixel 4a, I can compare it with vanilla Android 12 on my Pixel 6 Pro. So with that said, this shares and let's check out all the top features of Android 12 L on my Pixel 4a. case of app specific widgets so let's go into widgets over here you can see the quick pop-up over here for YouTube music let's go into widgets for both you can see on Android 12 it used to come only at the bottom one third of the screen and not, not even a complete widget used to fill with its description but over here it is taking up the whole screen so that's something new in case of Android 12 L that I noticed next thing is the widget segregation so if i go into widgets over here you can see that the weather widget is categorized over here which isn't the case over here so that's something different everything used to be listed under google all the weather widgets that is still the case over here unfortunately but still under weather is where you still have the weather widgets distinct now obviously the biggest change over here is clearly that how you can quick select your previous last few uh, selected wallpapers over here you have to go into wallpaper and style and then do your picking of the wallpaper over here you have shortcuts so i can just quick switch over here and the transition effect is very beautiful you can see from the corner of the screen it happened if i do it from somewhere here uh, it should happen from the bottom corner because I clicked over there you can see how the transition happens Now this is a very quick way to change all the wallpapers your look of the home screen This transition and the animation surrounded is also very well refined and I can't wait to see it on my pixel 6 All right now about split screen now This is Android 12 L is supposed to be catered mostly to large-scale devices So split screen is very important there Although I use it on a daily basis myself still, if you have two apps open, let's go into the recent apps menu. You can see first difference is that it's called split top over here with the color fill that mentions that where the current window will be moving in the frame over here that is not present. So let's do that. So let me just do it again, split top and then go to Chrome. And this is my app pair over here. Over here, it's a bit different. So you can see that I have opened the app pair over here. First of all, you can see the rounded edges around the app pair, which is not present over here on my stable Android 12 on my Pixel 6 Pro, but it is present on the Pixel 4a. By double tapping over here, you can see the uh, window switched very quickly. So that's there over here. That isn't the case. Now, if you go into the recent screen, this you can't do over here because it only lets you change the second screen, which is not the case over here. Here it is over here in the form of an app pair. So that's something great and nothing like that. If you have it, it just stays in your recent menu like any other app. So for example, let me go to some other apps so that I can clearly show it to you. All right, now I go home. Now I can go into my recent menu and you can see that my app pair exists over here and that's the best part. And if I want to share a link over here, my quick suggestions are coming. Now, unfortunately, it's covering up the app logos. So that's something I feel Google can fix. But app pair is really great and I can clearly see it being very handy for 
you know tablet users now the other change is when you don't have any notifications you can see no notifications is way higher up in the notification shade which is in the middle not just that if you knew that if you click on no notification it goes to your notification history which is the case over here so that's more reachable so that's a small little change apart from that if we go into the quick tiles here there is a major change which is when you go into the internet tile for example i get toggle for my sim and uh for my cellular data and my wi-fi data at the same place just like before but it happens in a pop-up window rather than a card coming up from below now i feel this visually looks better and i kind of prefer it personally not just that i wish that happened with the bluetooth menu as well so that you know you, we could switch or select our bluetooth devices right from here it isn't the case unfortunately another small so those are small changes not just that if i scroll over here something to like screen record so you can see screen record is a, a pop up again but over here it used to be a card coming up from above which is okay but this looks kind of better in my opinion similar things happen when you do screencast as well so over here you can see the pop up completely takes over the whole screen but here you have a different window popping up so that you can see other small changes is something like over here again in the pop-up menu when you hit the power button it opens up from the power button and sinks back into it over here it's a card sliding in from the right and again disappearing into the right now that's something which has been way more refined over here another small ui change which happened is when you pull down the notification shade over here with the quick tiles you can see the animation over here that you know the pills are just being unveiled over here but over here you can see the pills are expanding from a uh, and then opening up so there is a subtle animation change just when you pull down your quick tiles first or your notification shade this is a bit different which has been refined further in android 12 l so when you are in airplane mode and you go into your internet toggle you can see a separate wi-fi toggle or turn off airplane mode which wasn't the case over here so if i go over here you can see i can only turn on wi-fi but there is no way to turn off wi-fi airplane mode from over here that's a subtle little change i think it increases is the usability of that internet toggle although i understand a lot of people do not like it because of the separation between the uh, cellular data and the wi-fi networks another change which has come in for the uh, at a glance widget is that previously you could access the calendar if you press in the date area but that was unfortunately removed as you can see over here but in android 12 l if i tap on the date area it will open my calendar and not and if i tap in the weather area it will open the weather widget so that's another small difference over here again you cannot open your calendar but if i tap on the date but if i tap on the date over here my calendar is open so that's another small change so now about the haptic feedback there was no haptic feedback on stable android 12 when you went up the uh, app drawer or when you went into your recents menu and scrolled among that that is not present in android 12 but in android 12 l that exists when you scroll through your recent apps you get a subtle vibration feedback not just that you get it while pulling down the notification shade and also pulling up the app drawer as well so these are small little changes which, which actually enhance your experience of the ui i personally really like it and this is really fun to have i will try to help you get a clear audio of how it might feel when you use it personally another small change over here in the ui is when you go to the extreme of your recent apps you can see the clear all button here you have a pill shape clear all button so that it is more cohesive with the android 12 design scheme another small change is that you have your clock in the lock screen over here like this now you can move this clock in the lock screen in case of the pixel 4a now in android 12 l you get an option over here which is if you go into your display and then lock screen you have double line clock now if you can if you disable it you will see when i go into the lock screen you only have a single line clock over here unlike the regular one on android 12 so this is another option that has been enabled and now i have actually converted it to a tablet like dpi now unfortunately as a result the text might seem very small 
but I will try my best to explain it over here. You can see that there is a taskbar over here and the things, the layouts over here have changed. So have the shapes and the icons in the quick settings. So let me show it again. And not just that, if I have auto rotate on, you can see how it is looking in the home screen in a tablet like interface. And clearly you have two distinctions over here. You so you always get your notifications on the right and on the left, you have your quick tiles, which you can use just like on your phone. These are differences that you see on a tablet interface. Not just that you get a pop up for your users as well. So over here, you can see that I have a guest user added. Not just that you have user settings and when you go into that you can add your guest so these are some other settings not just that if i have if i can show you over here of going into an app like this so for example i want to open chrome so i can just hold down on chrome drag it over here and you can see clearly how i can place these windows so let me just keep it you can see split screen has come up now this is what we are expecting in the tablet interface of android 12 l or even in case of foldables so this is very useful although again this is not the right dpi i'm trying to emulate a tablet but it's not really very precise now this is the case with any other app you can put it on the dock not just that this has become an app pair and also there is a difference in the recent menu as you can see over here so all your recent menu you have a big one for the most recent apps and then they get smaller because it makes sense for bigger displays honestly speaking now let's just turn it into portrait mode all right so same thing over here even if you're in portrait mode from the dock if i hold it's very tough to hold on the chrome button you can put it on the side now this kind of does not make sense but you can see the although the highlight was a bit different the work was similar and you can see the split screen interface very well over here as well. Not just that again, let's go into the recent menu. You can see the other uh, recent apps are kind of in a smaller format and they will open up as usual. But when you go back, the most recent one will be in a bigger uh, size and the other ones will be smaller. So you have limited number of icons over here. So I can just drag YouTube instead. Not just that you still have the option of holding over here and seeing the app info and you get a split option right at the bottom over here so i'm not sure if you can see um, you know for split screen you get the shortcut over here instead of going to the app header so you can just hold split and then you can enter split screen now these are things we are expecting in the tablet mode ui so that's something you might look forward to if your tablet is get, going to get Android 12 L in the near future. All right. So these were the major changes in Android 12 L or March feature drop, whatever you may call it. Google is not naming it Android 12 L specifically, but yeah, we know that because of the betas and how Google listed it, it is Android 12 L but it came as a feature drop i am really excited and waiting for it to come for my pixel 6 pro i'll probably make a video about it when it launches for the pixel 6 pro as well with that said thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one